Welcome to the Sage 50 Home Window. Over the next few minutes, we'll look at the different sections of the interface and navigate the main screens and modules. With its workflow design, the Home Window makes it easy to enter and report on transactions. The window is customizable, includes shortcuts for performing tasks, and you can access the features in a number of intuitive ways. If you prefer the classic view is also available. You can use this toggle to switch between the classic and enhanced views. Before we begin our tour, let's take a look at the terms used in Sage 50. You can view the home window using either accounting or non-accounting terminology. Currently, we are using non-accounting terms. If you are familiar with accounting terms and principles, you may prefer this setting. If you are more comfortable using accounting terms, from the Setup menu, select User Preferences, and in the Terminology settings, select Use Accounting Terms and then click OK. This setting will configure the home window to display accounting terms in the navigation pane and in task icon labels. Let's take a look at the home window features now, using the Receivables module for a demonstration. As you can see, the window has various panes. The navigation pane on the left offers easy access to all the modules in Sage 50. For each module selected, information specific to the module will appear in the panes on the right. Tasks are grouped in a pane according to workflow. If you are new to accounting or Sage 50, visualizing the workflow will help you become familiar with accounting practices and processes. Items in the Related Tasks pane are specific to the current module. For example, you can click Settings in this pane to configure options related to the module you are viewing. The panes on the right side of the window display lists, reports, and reports that you have viewed recently. To find reports easily, the Reports pane includes reports that are specific to the currently selected module. To view a report, select it and click Display. You can modify the report if necessary and print your results. To view most reports included in the program, use the Report Center. Here, the reports are organized by module or function. The Recently Viewed Reports pane keeps track of the reports you have viewed recently. This is a valuable time saver because instead of hunting for reports you have recently used, you can find them in this window. Let's move on and look at the shortcuts and customization opportunities that are available in the Home window. Looking at the shortcuts first, within a task pane, right-click on an icon or click on the arrow next to the icon to access a task-specific shortcut menu. Let's look at the list pane. It displays information about the records related to the module you are viewing, and it also includes shortcut menus. For each record within the list, you can view more detail about the selected record, print reports, and perform related tasks. The columns in the list can be sorted by clicking on a column's title, and you can modify the order of the columns by dragging a column to a new position. You can show or hide columns in a list pane, Right-click on a column heading and select or deselect the column that you want in the list. Select the Inactive Records option at the bottom of the list to hide and unhide inactive records. Next, we'll look at how easily you can customize your home window. To build a shortcut list of frequently used tasks and reports, click the wheel icon, expand a module that contains the task you want to add to the list, Highlight the task or report and click the Add button. When you are finished creating your shortcut list, click OK to return to the Home window. You now have quick access from your shortcuts list rather than searching a task or report each time you want to use it. You can easily change the default module page by clicking Make Default to set the currently viewed module as your default. If you spend most of your time in Receivables, you may select Receivables as your default page. In this example, when you reopen the program, 
your home page will be receivables. To provide a larger viewing area for the list pane, you can minimize the reports pane by clicking the minus sign as shown here. Expand the panes by clicking the maximize icon in the panes header. You can also hide and display the record list in the same fashion. And by the way, all changes that you make to the home window are saved so that next time you access the program, your home window appears exactly as you left it. The banking page provides an at-a-glance view of many banking-related features that can be found elsewhere in the program, but are grouped here for ease of use. The task pane includes quick access to various banking tasks. This includes receive payments, make deposits, pay bills with shortcuts to different types of payments, reconcile accounts, and transfer funds. This page also includes an accounts list. The list includes accounts commonly used in banking transactions, cash, bank, and credit card accounts. The balances displayed in this list are as of the selected session date. You can select an account to view account details and transaction reports. For applicable accounts, you can also make deposits and reconcile accounts. The other panes are similar to those shown earlier. The company module presents a variety of tasks in one easy to access location. These include job sites, and depending on your company's terminology, these may be called projects or another term you've chosen. Here, you'll also find the daily business manager, chart of accounts, general journal, where you make journal entries, and data management. Data management offers easy to access functions such as data backups and restores, database health checks, and import export functions. Accountants Copy is a feature that enables you to create a copy of your data for your accountant. You can also import general journal entries created by your accountant from the Accountants Copy. The company page does not have a list pane. Instead, it includes support and service pane, which contains links to valuable support and services to help you get the most out of your experience with Sage 50. The other panes on this page are similar to those discussed earlier. The new cloud and mobile tab provide easy access to the functions related to our integrated cloud and mobile offering that are included with Sage 50C, Sage Drive, and Sage One. If you need other services or simply want to explore, the Add-on Services tab has valuable information about the various services that integrate with Sage 50. Moving on, when you select the Learning Center, you'll be connected to Sage University, a launch pad for all your learning needs. You can search for training and view certification information. You can also access the online community, knowledge base, and more. Getting help with Sage 50 is easy and the home window includes a few methods for finding assistance. There's a chat with support button on the toolbar. One click connects you with our knowledgeable support team online. Make sure your service plan is up to date to benefit from time saving features. The help menu includes access to online help, technical support, the knowledge base, and a variety of other resources. And finally, you can enter a search term in the box at the top of the window to learn more about a specific feature or topic.